G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Mitchell Stark career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17 and as you can see there in the last episode we had a pretty good one uh, we got a wicket and we only conceded 16 runs uh, in this second inning South Africa are currently 5 for 142 um, so they're travelling pretty well, they lead by 23 runs and uh, yeah, nothing much to say, Ryler Rousseau is on 50, oh no he got out on 58 sorry and Levi also with 45 almost with a 50 um, but yeah as I said there's not much else to say let's jump into it and hopefully grab a few wickets alright so we're straight back into it, a path is on strike Another one that I haven't really heard of much, but he's now currently on 10 with Quinton de Kock on 14. Good way to start things off to Dot. And that's the end of the over there. Only four off it. Um, I did concede that four. I think it was the end of last episode. I must have done something. And oh, bloody, yeah, I don't know what happened, but still. Uh, just four off it, so it's not bad. Oh, that one nipping, nipping back a lot. Almost hitting off stump, but that's five lots in a row now. Oh, he's clipped it away, no run, and it is a maiden, so we'll take that one. Still uh, only only conceding 16 runs so far. We bowled a couple overs, but um, yeah, I haven't increased stiff wood or anything, but South Africa, they just seem a little um, a little more tough, if that makes sense, to get out. Like the batsman, if that's... Uh, oh, there goes Apatha. He's gone for 45. Another buddy batsman not getting his 50. That's unlucky for him. All right, so a bit of time has passed now. I've just checked, and uh, South Africa lead by 141 at the moment, so... Um, yeah, they're travelling okay, but pretty easy to start total for us. So I can spit the bloody word out. And although they, they, we only need one more wicket as well, so uh, we could possibly get in this over. Let's hope we do get things over and done with, because you think we'd be able to score 141 very quickly. Well, he's played a cut shot, not bad. Straight to the fieldsman though. And what the hell? What happened there? Oh, we'll just move on then. Bloody hell! And just like that, we're back here on day four. So, uh, South Africa, um, hopefully we get them out very quickly because we need them out for us to get the runs. They've only one more day after this. Um, so, they're probably hoping to stay in for as long as possible and force the draw if they can. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we can get them this over because these two, Buddy Perry, look at him go. 35 runs for a tail ender. That's pretty good. Make that probably 37. No, they'll stick to one. Catch him. Yes, come on. I don't know why, but in my brain right then, I was just thinking about that delivery and if it could get to the slip. I don't know. I know this sounds really weird, but before I bowled that, I was thinking, oh, can we get a little edge here and hopefully get a nice catch from the slip? And what happens? It sounds sketchy, but still, <laughs> great wicket. And South Africa's innings come to an end. Comes to an end. Um, but yeah, off they go. And we'll be come straight in for the second innings. And you shouldn't, you wouldn't think we'd need a bat because uh, 141... The top four batsmen should be able to chase that down pretty quickly. Jeez, look at him go. They're dropping like flies. And eventually we got it. There we go. Australia win by five wickets. No need to bat for us. And, uh, yeah, we haven't been recording for too long, so we might as well head to another match. Alrighty, so we're now into game two of this three-test series against South Africa. Uh, got a pretty easy win in the first one. And hopefully we can end to this one and uh, grab a, a few bags of wickets. 11 a.m. start, as it would be. Uh, but, yeah, let's jump into it. Or I'm pretty sure the last game was at the MCG, but we're at the MCG yet again. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, here we go. Same teams, I'd assume. Lennox Powell, one of the umpires. It's a very unusual name, but anyway, we're heading to the toss. Steve Smith tosses the coin, and how's it going to pan out? Of course, South Africa win the toss, and they elect to bat first. So, straight into the bowling, you'd think we'd have the new ball in hand. Mitchell Stark I'm talking about, and uh, yeah... Always love that new ball swinging. Here we go, Mitchell Stark. First ball of the day, or the test match even. Here we go. We'll give him an outswinger. Oh, good way to start it off. She's a dot. We're in this situation again. Five dots. Can it be a six? And possibly another maiden. We've had a fair few in this series so far. Oh, catch him. No, it's a nice shot from Riley Russo. And it's going to be a boundary. There you go. <laughs> bloody Ryman. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty unfortunate way to end the over, but uh, five good balls, and we'll take them. Um, if you can bowl five good ones and a, and a bad ball, it's always a uh, pretty successful over. Oh, yes, come on. Great delivery. We got the inside edge onto off stump, and uh, one of the stumps even has gone out of the ground. Beautiful bowling from Mitchell Stark. Let's have a look. Great jag. 
Gets the inside edge, and I think it's the off stump that gets blown out of the ground. Good angle here. Have a look at this. Inside edge, and then it goes flying. What a way to start the innings off. I think they're like one for seven now. Yeah, one for seven off two-point throwovers. Great way to start it off. And Dupla C comes out to the crease. Can we get him uh, very quickly? Let's hope so. Same delivery, and he's played it pretty well. Better than bloody uh, Levi, that's for sure. Forgot to mention our last over finishes at Wicket Maiden, so brilliantly done by Starkey in that one. Currently one for four off two overs. Oh, geez, that's jagging a lot. He's played it well, though, at Rousseau, and he'll get two for us. He's definitely going to be dangerous, Riley Russo, in this one. Um, so if we can get him early, that'd be absolutely fantastic. That's a beautiful delivery there. Slowed it down a little bit, and it's just sort of almost a bit of flot on it, didn't it? Um, just slowed right down, and it was a great one, that one. Hopefully we can get a wicket in these next couple overs. Oh, he's gone high with that one. Pretty sure he hit the ground first, but uh, still a dot, so we'll definitely take that. Once again, we have five dots. Let's over to six and a maiden. I want to do that same delivery that it did. I think it was a second ball. I went with a off-cutting, I think it was a full delivery. It just sort of slowed down, got a bit of flight on it, and it was a really good delivery. I liked it. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty similar there. They go for a run. Has it? Oh, he's got him! What a throw from out in the deep. Well, not really in the deep, was it? It was very close in, actually. And we got a bloody run out. It's Riley Russo, I think. It is too. That is insane. Steve Smith, take a bow, mate. What a what an episode. We've got a nice little wicket and uh, we've got a run out. That does not happen very often, so what are you saying there? That's very rare. <sighs> Risky leave, Temba. That's almost knocking your off stump out of the ground, mate. Um, but we've got two deliveries, uh, no, four deliveries left in this one, and we'll end the episode there. It's been a great one. Um, hopefully, we can get a wicket in this one. Nice one there. Final delivery of the episode coming up here. We'll give him an off cutter. Hopefully it can end into uh, off stump. That'd be brilliant. Oh, pretty sure it's uh, way outside off that one. But it would just appeal for no damn good reason. And uh, yeah, no challenge there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty great episode. Got a nice wicket and a run out. So uh, we'll definitely take that. And move on to the next one with a bit of form going. And hopefully we'll grab a few more wickets in the next one. But uh, yeah, for this one, that'll do it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.